It is a beautiful sunshiny day. The weather today is a high of 82. Perfect day to stay inside and play video games. What's up guys? Welcome back to Digital Diving, your weekly proper gaming talk show. We're your hosts Sansology and J-Dubs. There is so many video games in both of our backlogs. We're trying to figure out if it's actually worth having like, you know, weekly to monthly game releases at this point when there are so many games in our backlogs. Specifically, especially ones that we're probably going to be getting for free in a few months, thanks to the new PS Plus subscription and Game Pass and Steam sales and all that stuff. Like, I'm in the camp of, I always like to play new games. <laughs> I, 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 I I follow the Barney Stinson rule, new is always better. <laughs> but it's not when it comes to gaming. We've already seen this in the past four years. No, it's I know. Like, come out new, come out fucking broken. And that is true. Yeah, it's like things like it's like things go two steps forward and then five steps back. Yeah, you know. No, um, you're one hundred percent right. But that's not to say that like old games released in like perfect condition because I mean, fall games like Fallout Three, they had so many damn bugs in those games when that game came out. So. Ooh. I mean, when games, but you're talking about games that got a chance to reach their final form, you know. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, of course. So, I mean, like, but that's not really what we're talking about today. Today, we're really talking about should we be getting all these brand new game releases constantly when there's so many games that a lot of people missed out on? And personally, I think that if we weren't getting any, like, regular game releases, the gaming industry would kind of stagnate at a certain point. I mean, you always need new games to drive the industry forward and, you know, push the limits at what is possible. You always need that to happen. And there's always all these developers that are coming out with new games, new developers popping up every now and then, releasing new stuff. You know, we're always going to be having new games. Like, they're not going to go on anywhere. I think it would just need... I think the game, the industry itself just needs a breather, you know, because... <laughs> yeah. There's, there's way too many games. We've seen what happens when games come out annually. Actually, I, th I think I think 2020 was our breather. Nah. Not even. <laughs> Dude, we didn't even have that many games released because most of them got pushed back. 2020 and 2021, almost all the big releases got delayed. We didn't see that many new releases last year. But it wasn't like a... It wasn't by choice. It was more like, oh, all yeah. right, we had to sure. forcefully put this back. But then that if you, if you push a game past its original release date, then that kind of puts you on a crunch where it's like, True. all right, now we got to get this going, you know, versus like, all right, let's just take a step back. It comes out when it comes out. We don't have a release date yet. We don't even have a, you know, let's just have a breather, you know? Yeah, no, you're right. I get that. I get that. But at the same time, like these companies have to make money at the end of the day. So yeah. I, they're not going to be like, eh, let's just take a year off. Fuck it. <laughs> That's what these microtransactions and subscriptions are for. I you know? know. <laughs> I know. I no, mean, I honestly, know. it feels this is like people that no offense to you, but people that are just like, I need to play something new. It's exactly why you have people like Jim Ryan, president of Sony saying we don't need to play old games. Well, and I think that that pushes it to a different realm of stuff because like, even though like I'd much rather play something new than something old, I have no problem playing old games. It's just that a lot of these games, a lot of these older games have not aged well. That's just my thing. I mean, yeah, there like there are plenty of games even from you know 80s 90s Sega genesis saturn that are re-releasing now that are just like uh they could have yeah. used some polishing you know could use some touching up but doesn't really it doesn't really erase the contribution that they had to oh the god no oh god no i mean like like in my backlog like my backlog of games goes all the way back to the freaking ps2 all right there's a lot of right. games that i missed out on that i never played which is why i'm actually kind of interested in the new ps plus tiers but that's a whole... Like, we already talked about all of that. Yeah. But, like, I have games way back in the day that are actually available on, like, you know, the PS Store that you just buy for, like, you know, $5, $2, shit like that. Mm -hmm. You know, like, Star Wars Bounty Hunter, never got around to play that. Republic Commando, yeah. never played that game. The, anything after Kingdom Hearts 2 or a Kingdom Hearts 1, never played any of the Kingdom Hearts games. I didn't even finish the first Kingdom Hearts game well, because I got back. stuck on Maleficent. Up, <laughs> that catch up, boy. Force coming out soon. That's what I'm saying. Like, God, I'm so far behind when it comes to the Kingdom Hearts games. It's ridiculous. 
and then I go good. like even like PS3, PS4. There's so many games I just missed out on, didn't play yeah. either because I was Dang. in school. I had other games I was playing. I didn't have time to play all of these games. So, and a lot of the games are still you know playable now. You know, it's not some of them have not aged well at all. Others, I they're you know with a couple of updates, it could be playable for sure. I definitely agree. Uh, there's definitely way too many because my parents didn't even let me have consoles until I was a certain age, and by yeah. then a lot of gold standard games had already passed, and reverse compatibility wasn't a thing at the time, so mm-hmm. I was kind of shit out of luck. Um, and now that I have a PC, I can go back. I can either do things that companies yeah. wouldn't like me to do, <laughs> or I can try and buy them legit. But we've been seeing a lot of stories lately about game preservation and how. You know, there's this glitch and on PlayStation servers where there are games from PS1, PS2 that are expired and you can't yeah. play them more um, digitally. So, I mean, well, I think the I only think... reason they're doing that was because they're gearing up for the new PS Plus tiers. That's the only reason I think they were like taking them out of the store because they're going to put them for free anyways. So they didn't want people to buy these games and then suddenly get them for free when you know if they decide to go for those tiers. But now. These sense. games can't play them anymore, period. So well, they kind of screwed themselves. Yeah, well, there is that, too. I mean, so I think having a backlog, having something to go back to, it's definitely important just because, you know, we've seen so many remakes, remasters, and redos and reboots because on some level, you know, you run out of ideas. Yeah. The gaming industry, can, you can run out of ideas and stuff like that. So it's always good to have a backlog of things to go back to. Oh, yeah, for you sure. You get that enjoyment. You know, yeah. you can get that enjoyment. And when it comes to new games, I've started becoming less and less impressed, <laughs> I guess you would say. I mean, yeah, to a point. <laughs> to a point, you're right. I mean, I, as much as I love Dying Light 2, for example, like I still love the first Dying Light a lot more. I thought the first time light was a better game in general. Um, but how on the other side of things, I'm playing horizon forbidden West right now. And this game is a huge improvement on the first one. Yeah. So it comes and goes. It really depends on the developer and the style of the game. No. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. I think, uh, once you kind of get past the differences that kind of make things, you know, better or worse than the original or not. I think it, it, it kind of comes with nostalgia. Yeah, you know, for sure. It all, it's all about the memories that you make, the first impressions. You know, I could take Ninja, and, and that's another thing about new versus old. Sometimes when you bring something back from being old to being new, <laughs> they censor it, they yeah. wear it down. Um, like Ninja Gaiden. I did not get to play that game. I missed oh, out man. on the whole Ninja Gaiden I played the series. demo, like, back in the PS3. That was great. <laughs> And, uh, and they have the remaster collection, the Masters collection, and a lot of people were complaining that it's watered down. They, they not only took out enemies, they made it easier. Yeah, I heard about that. Upgrades, you know. And so when it comes to that, it's just like, you know what? I think I'll go back to my backlog, uh, you know. <laughs> and, um, you know, I'll even if I have to suffer a 30-frame loss, you know, I'll, I'll rather play the old one, the old original, before playing the new ones, you know. so. No, I get and, it. Uh, I get it, definitely. And speaking yeah. about backlogs, we got so many games in our backlog. And I, 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 I have games, like I said before, I have games going all the way back to the PS2 that I just oh. never played. Like Destroy All Humans, for example. Never had a chance oh to God. play that game. And then it came out, what, on PS4? They remastered it for yeah. PS4. And I still didn't play it. I haven't played that one yet. I'm just like, oh, I really should because they remastered it. And they made but, a like, new one, too. They made uh, Destroy All Humans 2. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah. I so. haven't played any of those. I mean, I can tell you, I I, th- I think we should list off like five games in our backlogs. I mean, I'll do some recent ones. I got a, uh, I got back, uh, not back for blood. I got um, uh, the one where you're in time going back. Deathloop, yeah. Oh, Deathloop. Deathloop. Yeah. See, so uh, I that's kind of in my backlog because I started it. I got I I, I don't think I got halfway through the game, but. And then, like, I went to Mexico, and then Dying Light 2 came out, and then, mm-hmm. you know, all these other games started to come out, and they got pushed and pushed and pushed to the back. Because while it's a really good game, it, like, it took a lot to play it, because it's almost, it's essentially a roguelike. So, you're, you know, you have to play through each level straight through. You can't pause. There's no pausing. 
So for that reason, I had to put it on the backlog because like shit, I need like a whole afternoon to do anything in this goddamn game. And each level, and each map and area is like an hour long at least if you want to have fun with it. So <laughs> it takes a while. A lot, man. I still and then I still have I still haven't gotten to play Metro Exodus. Oh my um, god. Have that it's on so both good. PC and so and then uh, Far Cry Primal will be like top Man, number three. You don't need to play Far Cry Primal. I haven't even played Far Cry Six yet. I wanted to. I played. Uh-huh. I've played every single Far Cry like numbered Far Cry game, but I had not played Six. And I was like, shit. I should like. Why haven't I played this game yet? And then I, I think I got kind of burned out from like Far Cry Five because yeah. I played it. It was fun, but it was it, not. No Far Cry game has hit the same since Far Cry Three. And I've been chasing that high with every single Far Cry game that's ever come out, and I just haven't gotten it. You know, <laughs> I just haven't gotten it. I am. I'm. A, I, I was a, like Far Cry Three got me hooked on Far Cry games, but no Far Cry game has been good since that. That was like the Far peak Blood of Dragon. Far Cry. Huh? Did you play Blood Dragon? Oh yeah, it was amazing. But it was like the like the DLC to Far Cry. 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, uh, it was amazing. Uh, I just got finished doing Shadow Warrior. I'm still playing through Dying Light, you know. So it it it, it takes it takes sometimes it takes a toll, and I think we we are coming at it as adults. Where, yeah, you know, you have we don't have as much time as some of these yeah. younger folk, younger Gen Zers over yeah. here. And, <laughs> and some of those TikTok and video games and whatnot. Yeah, so, I mean, it, shit. I still have Ghostwire Tokyo on my list. Elden Ring, yeah, Returnal. I haven't played Returnal yet. Man, Jesus. <laughs> and that was yeah, one of the first I mean, games to come out for the PS5, and I just have not gotten a chance to play it, which is, again, why I'm kind of looking forward to the new PS Plus tier, because they already said they're going to be putting it on their list of games. Wait, which game? Returnal. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, going to yeah, be yeah, on yeah. their, like, you know, their games you can just play for free. Play for free, yeah. Oh, you know, free. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, you know, and... So we have these subscriptions coming out. You know, we got Xbox Game Pass, and we got yeah. Know. There's a lot. I mean, there's a, so many opportunities for gamers to get back into these old games, especially with PlayStation doing something kind of good, kind of controversial, but whatever. Like, there's good and bad to the new PS Plus tiers. But if you want to watch that video, it's right here. But and a friend <laughs> made a good point. Where, uh, a friend made a good point where it's just. You know, we have so many subscriptions. Eventually, it's gonna it's gonna get oversaturated. Oh sense. yeah, I mean, I think it kind of already is as, a, really at a point. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't. I, I just pay for a PS Plus. Um, I mean, video streaming services is a whole other conversation. But in terms of like gaming, I only have PS Plus. I was gonna get Stadia, but I decided against it because, especially now that PlayStation is doing this, they're you're essentially going to be able to, you know, play all the PlayStation games on your computer now through streaming. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just wait until PS Plus comes out and then just do the, you know, next tier instead of going for Google Stadia. Even though Google Stadia does look cool and has a pretty good library of stuff, I think PlayStation would be the safer bet in general. And I don't have Game Pass purely because I don't have a good enough PC to, like, play, like, you know, download and play these games. So, you know. And, and and it's also been made a good point where it's like when you play these new games, you're going to want to go. At least why I, I love Backlog. It says when you play these new games, you're going to want to go back and see where they started. You know? Oh, yeah. I, I finished beating God of War for the first time. <laughs> and uh, honestly, I would rather go back and play the first six games than right. play this game. I so mean, that's, that's kind of like me too because I never actually played the original Dead Space. I started with Dead Space 2. And that's I, I, that happened with me with a lot of games, like where I started with the second game in the series. I happened with Assassin's Creed. I started with Assassin's Creed 2 and then went from there. So I would Dead Space 2 and went from there. Uh, I started with Skyrim and went from there. I'd never played Oblivion. So Oblivion. Was- Mass Effect, I started with Mass Effect 2, went from there, yeah. never played. I never actually played the first Mass Effect game. <laughs> well, most people had to start from 2 because it, was, yeah. it wasn't on paper. PS3. So that, yeah, so. that's true. That is very true. So, but yeah, so uh, uh, for me, like a lot of these original games, I never had the chance to play back in the day because I was like, oh, I started with this game. Why would I go back and play that one? I mean, I could just keep on, like, you know, pick it up from here and go forward. 
I'm so. they don't get better with <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, you can say that, but Assassin's Creed 2 was way better than the first Assassin's Creed. I mean, that uh, wasn't a Death, Sp- Death, Space <laughs> one, Death Space 2 was the best out of the trilogy. Mass Effect right, 2 yeah. was the best out of the trilogy. So, yeah, like, you know, a lot of these sequels yeah. were way better than the original games because the original games are trying to do something new and unique. And then... I'm sure of them. Yeah, it was like an experimental game. And then the second game is where they really refined it and made it what it was supposed to be. And then the third game either was even better or fell off. So yeah. <laughs> that's just how yeah, it went. Some, yeah, I mean, you have some games that do like a 50-50 where they add things and yeah. they take certain things. They, you know, and it, sometimes it's just like it's really hard to decide whether you rather have a backlog of old games or something new because... It, it can be you, you sit there like well, why do the developers do that you yeah. know they, they had a, such a good way of doing things so it oh for it, sure it just depends you know yeah like you said it depends on the developers and 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 kind of the style of things you know um some there are some games that completely switch styles where it goes oh god yeah game, <laughs> like a first person game and you're um, like the hell no, i don't wait, do that wait why though <laughs> i don't yeah. do these things yeah, no, a couple of them did that. Um, I mean, like, and even going back, there's, there's some games that like I started back in the day and then never actually continued either. Like mm. both Doom games, I started both Doom games and did not finish them. <laughs> They're still just unfinished in my library, and I don't know why. Like I, I think it was either I picked it up because I didn't have anything else to play, so I was like, "Oh, okay, I'll pick this up because it's you know it looks really fun and everything." And I'm watching, uh, I'm going through my backlog of YouTube videos right now it's about backlogs. I'm watching uh, Markiplier's Doom Eternal playthrough. I'm just like, "Oh my god, this makes me just want to play this game again." So, <laughs> but I'm also playing Horizon right now, and it's a little bit good. And some of them, like, I should have played. Like, Heavy Rain. Never had the chance to play Heavy Rain. I never played that one either. But it's, it came out for free on PS Plus. I know. Which is also one I'm about. Yeah, man. It, the, like, the, the access to games these days is crazy. And I remember when we were... So, like, when we were younger, I remember being on the other side where it's like, I need a new game. I would beat my games you're in, like, right. a week. Right? Because like, you're just doing... That says, you would come up from school and just play games for, like, four hours. Yeah, man. I would just do my homework and then just be done with it. I only do homework. All. <laughs> I was a bad student. <laughs> I didn't do it like a homework. <laughs> All right, you know, I'm gonna just let that slide. Because if I do my homework, I got bad. You know, but you know, I just told my parents whatever. I did my homework. I was like, oh yeah, I did it in school. <laughs> you know, you know, you can have your sheltered life, sir. You non-watching cable ass person i did yeah i didn't have cable growing up that's just because my parents didn't find a point in doing it i mean at a certain point we got netflix so it's like yeah fuck fuck cable <laughs> you didn't have cable i didn't have consoles i don't know maybe we that's should right. switch maybe switch that around you know i know there's a lot of things um but it, it's yeah it's ridiculous because like yeah I, I used to have like 40 or 50 games at one time you know yeah just, seriously and, of games that I brought, you know. Yeah, my and PS, my PS3 library, like it was all physical games too. Like it was huge. I had so many freaking games, and I ended up selling most of them. Well, what I used to do with games when I was like in college and high school and stuff is like I would go buy a game, play it, beat it, and then trade it in for another to like, get a discount on another game because I was a broke ass bitch. So I was like, so like it, it was like me and my buddy Jose. We would, like, we would each buy a game, and then we would trade off who would buy the next one. So I would play it, and then give it to him. He would trade it in, buy the next one, play it, give it to me, send it back. And in between, hey. we would, like, play one of our backlog games on the side. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so we had this, like, cycle of games just going around. It yeah, was man, the I, best. I, I felt bad because I was one of those motherfuckers that uh, – abused the GameStop policies. Just, oh, just yeah. Terrible. See, I was just doing Just Press Play constantly, which is like our hey. local used game store. Oh, yeah. But like GameStop had that, and EB Games even had this. Oh, one. my like, God, EB could, Games. Holy shit. Game, <laughs> if you didn't like it, you return it. If you if it was a used game, you could buy it, return it within a week, get something for the same price. Yeah. So I would go and buy like, I would start out the month by buying like $59 used games. Yep. And, and I would switch it up every week for a new game. Oh, hell yeah. 
ended up getting lower. And then by the end of like the month or two, I would get down to a thirty dollar game, and I'm like, all right, I need to trade in something like new, new. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, oh, I was. I was no, yeah, no. I, I literally, I just did the cycle of trading in games to get like. Not massive discounts, but you would get like ten dollars off of a brand new game or something like that. So I was like, "Bet, let's do it." Like and I like, did that. I did that. It was I ended up playing so many of these games, like uh, not Time Splitters, Time Shift. There it is. Yeah. Holy yeah. fuck! Do you remember that one? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to play that one. I didn't. Oh I my god, that game was weird as all hell. I wanted to play it, but I, I can't. I, pass it most of, most of my PS3 era games. Or like these weird offshoot games. Like there's one game where you had like this badass, um, uh, badass jetpack, and you're flying around and shit. Such a fun game. Yeah, a lot of my favorite backlogs are games that were amazing, but just never really hit with the audience until years later. Like uh, Bulletstorm, Split Second. Yeah. Those, you know, those are like the games that was Split playing Second, a lot. Dark Void. That's the game. Yeah, awesome. Dark Void was really good. Dark Void was great! And then I missed, like, we, we did that. Uh, I think I mentioned the video. I missed out on the darkness. I didn't play the darkness. Oh, yeah, that was last week's video. Go watch last week's video. Uh, uh, yeah, no, the darkness is an amazing game. And what kind of helped me be able to trade in these games so quickly was because I didn't have tradition. I didn't have Wi-Fi. I had, like, limited broadband. Oh, internet, yeah. And, like, no, we had Wi-Fi. Connect. So I couldn't play Street Fighter. I had Street Fighter 4 for the longest, and I loved that game. I think that was probably... The best out of these new 3D Street Fighters. Yeah. You know, I couldn't play it online. I got pretty damn good at it, too, and I was so mad about that. <laughs> well, like, even when we had Wi Fi growing up, it was really shitty Wi Fi, like, really bad Wi Fi. So, playing online, especially on the PS3, was bad. I never played online and played. PS2 had online play for some games, right? I did. They had, like, that adapter thing you had to buy or whatever. Yeah, yeah, Same yeah, thing with the adapter. Xbox 360. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I just did it on the PS3 is when I started getting to online play with Call of Duty and shit like that. But even then, I wasn't really playing online. I really didn't get into online play until PS4. So I missed out on, like, a lot of online games, especially, like, the Mortal Kombat series. We didn't get Wi-Fi until 2012, like, the last year Damn. of PS3. <laughs> yeah, it was... My mom was so slow with shit. It was... <laughs> Like, yo, mom, get Wi-Fi. She's like, nah, it's not, it's not great. I don't even know what it is. I'm like, I can explain it to you. <laughs> nah, we don't need it. Come oh, on. God. Yeah, it no, we, 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 ended, we ended up getting Wi-Fi. Uh, not early on, but, like, when it started coming out and getting popular and stuff. Because, I mean, we had fucking dial-up forever. Yeah, but. same. <sighs> <laughs> um, and the first game I was really able to enjoy on Wi-Fi was Destiny 1, which. Wow was wow <laughs> yeah. Yeah. god damn this is the first game i really like really went in on i mean i played some P late ps3 games on the internet like a uh, ninja storm and yeah. you know things like that but every i really couldn't really get into anything uh, all the servers had died out from the games i wanted to play yeah, online, that's fair so. that's from, like fair. 2009 2010 like three years later it was just like not working no so, that's fair yeah it 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 really does serve to help to have, like, a backlog of games just because you never know when you want to go back and kind of experience. Like, I, I, the first game I bought when I got a PC was Split Second. I got that game back in the <laughs> first game I got back. I was yeah. like, oh, my God, fucking amazing. Uh, you know, that's probably one of my favorite It's a great game. game. It's a great game. It's a really yeah. good game. So, I, I, you got to respect the backlogs, man. Yeah, and I and that's why, like, whenever there's, like, a new sale on PlayStation or even Steam, if my computer and my laptop can run it, I'll look through, like, my the games that I've wanted to play but never got a chance to. Like, P PlayStation had, like, uh, what was it? They had Republic Commando and Bounty Hunter, Star Wars Bounty Hunter, on sale for, like, two, two three dollars. I was like, shit, I should really pick this up. I didn't because I'm an idiot. But <laughs> I really should have. But... Oh, PC. Uh, well, the, the the thing is, like, both those games are also on PS Now, which means they're likely going to just be thrown into the tiers of PlayStation when they come out. So I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to wor even worry about it because I'll get them for free at some point. Yeah. So I'm like, screw it. At this point, like, I'm not even worried about looking into my backlog. The only I'm only looking into my most recent backlog of games because, like, because I work a full time job, I can't play games all day as much as I would love to do that. I only like it takes me about a month month and a half to beat any game ever so i just beat dying light 2 i just started horizon forbidden west 
I still really want to play Ghostwire Tokyo. Really want to finish Deathloop. Really want to play Far Cry 6. So I'm looking at my most recent backlog of games instead of looking way back. Because yeah. these games, I'm like, okay, I have a PS5, right? I really want to play games that are going to look really, really good on this system. Plus, all these backlog, all my older games I really want to play, I'll likely get for free around June, July. So I'm not really worried about it. Yeah, um, I have I st- I recently started getting re- uh, buying and pirating old games that I really really want to play. Um, I got Space Marine one because oh my god, <laughs> um, yo that that thing is like it's like Gears mixed with its own twist of like its own brutality and it's really it's cool. Basically, like, Warhammer Forty K. Yeah, I mean, That's and kind of also. <laughs> War One. I plan on playing the whole Gear series since I've never had an Xbox. I never, yeah, I never played that Gear series ever because, uh, yeah, I never had an Xbox. The only games I played on Xbox were Skyrim and Fallout Three, nice. and I Call of Duty and whatever Call of Duty was out at that time. Yeah, those are great games to play on there. Yeah, so yeah. I, I, I'm, I got Gears of War One. I still haven't gotten around to it. <laughs> Or, you know, so, yeah, there's a lot. And I'm buying, I I like retro first-person shooters. So, I'm getting retro boomer shooters from, you know, Blood and and Hexen and all these other old ones that I never got to play either. You need to play Fear. I only played Fear 3 back in, like, the PlayStation 3 era. Never played the first two games, but I heard they were amazing. Yeah, I heard that too. I do want to play those. I heard that we might be getting a rematch. Oh, I hope so. Fear 3 was such a good-ass game. So, I oh. would be all about that. But, oh. uh, yeah, tell me, guys, what do you guys think about backlogs? Do you want them? Do you need them? Do you have them? <laughs> you know? <laughs> How many games do y'all have in your backlog? Please let us know. Uh, also, if there's a game that you recommend from, like, you know, PS3, PS4, even PS2 era that we didn't mention that we might not have played that might got overlooked, please let us know. I'm definitely going to be looking into all those games when the new PS Plus tiers come out. There's a very good chance I'm just going to sell out and get the premium tier. <laughs> oh, guys, that's what's fucked up about this whole thing. You don't need the middle tier. You don't you need really it. Don't. You really don't need the middle tier. You actually get more for the premium tier. So you might as well just shell out the extra, like, what, 40 bucks a year for the no. premium. I'm going to do it one time and I'm going to rationalize it that I spent $120 on Shadow Warrior 3. So I guess I can spend $100. <laughs> Bro, how did you spend that much on Shadow Warrior 3? Because I got it twice. Why? Because I got it on PlayStation to play it whenever my PC. I'm not I have oh, my PC. Yeah. I got it on PC. Yo, you sound like some of these YouTubers who buy these games for like every single console. Like fucking Jack Septic guy got Elden Ring for his PS5, Xbox Series, and his PC. And I'm like, my guy, he's played it seven times. He beat the game seven times already on each system. Not seven times on each system, but throughout all of his all of his platforms, he beat the game seven times. I'm like, my guy. He also said Elden Ring plays absolutely garbage on pc for whatever reason but whatever See, it, it helps you be able to review it and give more i mean that's fair that's yeah. fair but why <laughs> I, love that. I, I got doom uh, on both my, i got doom on both consoles i got it on pc and i got it on uh ps5 i mean PS4. to be fair i got skyrim on my ps3 Yo, Xbox have- Xbox 360, my laptop in college, then my PS4. So I bought that game four times. <laughs> yeah, it have multiple the next game that's going to be like that is guaranteed Cyberpunk and Destiny. Those games are going to get re I don't know. I don't know about Cyberpunk, but we'll see what happens with Cyberpunk. I think they're just going to keep on. I don't think they're going to come out with new re-releases. They're just going to come out with updates just because of how badly that game performed. I don't think they're going to come out with new releases of it. But they're just going to come out with updates. Yeah. Uh, I, I guarantee you it's going to get at least a PS6 release. I maybe, guarantee. You. Maybe. It might get, yeah, it might get a PS6 release. But I, uh, I, before I shell out this 120 bucks for this fucking premium, I need to see that tier list. I need to yeah, see yeah I need to see the tier list too. I need to see what we're going to be getting because that will really de- like decide. Like, and which ones I can download and factors. play at higher resolution and frame rates. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't have any information on that yet, but we, again, go watch our PS Plus tier video if you want to know more about that. Anyways, guys, we're going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel and not subscribed yet, we got a new subscriber. Thank you for subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell so you can know if I'm wherever we go live. I can't talk about it. Have that. We'll see you guys in the next weekly dive-in. Proper Game Talk Show. See you guys. See you next week.